Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I was going to show you this real quick. Some of you guys might be interested in this. So I got a long bed chassis for a Dodge Dakota and I had to shorten it to 108 inches from 124 inches, 122 inches, sorry. And uh, so anyway, that 16 inch chunk came out of there. Um, about two hours ago, I decided I was going to shorten it today. So I put it in position, put some jack stands under it cut out my piece, ratchet strapped it back together, clamped uh, big beams along the length of the frame and because uh, I was utilizing a nice straight part of the frame, ratchet strapped it back together, rechecked my wheelbase, everything was good, welded it back up, reshot some black paint on it to make it look pretty again and uh, then a storm started coming in and well I wanted to get this all back together so Anyways, because here's what we got going on here is the cab The cab is just kind of hanging out so to speak because uh, I thought you guys might want to see this because some of this is what's uh, What's puzzling to some of you guys, you know, I work I work alone. I work in my yard um, I uh, Occasionally I have a friend come over, but I mean You can see that thing is just hanging out so what I did was I got in here and uh, threw some ratchet straps in, went through the corners of the cab where it's all rusty and everything and went through uh, around the seat braces and uh, hung it to the cherry picker. And uh, that'll allow me to pick it up and roll the chassis back under it. Um, so that's kind of my tip of the day if you guys uh, need to know how to take a cab off by yourself you know here you go since you know if I was working on concrete I probably would have came in through the door because that way uh, that way I could have just rolled the dolly and the cab off to the side won't have to move, move the chassis at all but uh, you know being that I'm working in the dirt in the backyard there was no way to roll that after I got it in place so that's how I did it so anyway like I said storms coming in and uh, I wanted to get this back on the chassis today. So uh, there you guys go, your, your hot rod, rat rod tip of the day. Use your cherry picker for stuff other than motors. So there you go guys, thanks for watching, bye.